This is week two, or the, the end of week two of my weight loss blog. So every Thursday I do this video to the camera where I try and see if there's any uh, increase in or change in my body type over the last week. Now, la over the last seven days I had a total blowout at the weekend where I went up camping with the boys, got loads of booze in me, loads of burgers, loads of bacon, loads of chocolate, loads of crisps. I totally maxed out on badness over the weekend. Um, but I've also been starting to do loads of research on uh, fasting and how there's actually loads of benefits to fasting, short-term fasting, like under 48 hours, uh, beyond just weight loss. In fact, the, the immune system, the hormone system, uh, just like internally, just it's all meant to be very good for you to every so often just kind of go, stop digesting food and let's do something else. So I've been quite interested learning about that over the last week while. And uh, so I'm going to keep on doing that for the next week. Well, I think tomorrow or tonight, uh, I've just come back from the gym. So the rules are this morning, t every Thursday, I'm not doing any sort of fasting. So today was just normal eating, woke up, had breakfast, went to work, had a Boots meal deal, uh, came home, had a quick banana and a coffee, and then went off to the gym and did another second gym session of the day. And that was a rowing session. So I, that was just a test one. So. I personally don't think I've changed too much in the body in the last week. However, I did just destroy my personal best on the rowing machine. I have a one minute challenge and a three minute challenge. <coughs> just to see how far I can actually go. And I absolutely humped it. But anyway, let's see if there's any change in the body type. So I'm actually, it's really hot as well. I'm a little bit sweaty, uh, both from the gym and it is still like 20 degrees outside and it's eight o'clock at night just now or at night there's no night it's bright sunshine um and okay so for me i would say you've always got to have a whole pile of things that you gauge changes with so last week i was looking at wow i've got this kind of hole in my thumb which i can see i'm losing weight there i thought that was great or uh, i have got this kind of bit there where i can see when it uh, tense i can see something going on there this week, the one thing I didn't notice was, I don't know if I can see, yeah, there is, I'm getting this vein, I'm getting an ab vein, like score ab vein, never had an ab vein before, uh, I think it's just on one side, I think, is it that one, but yeah, I was like, oh yeah, ab vein, nice, um, oh, I also did some barefoot running, I managed to two and a half kilometres over the fourth road bridge, uh, which destroys your calves. Again, been doing some research, research on barefoot running and they're just saying, take it easy when you first start doing it. It will destroy your calves and your feet and your legs just really have to get used to it. So that was like last Sunday and uh, I haven't really managed to do anything apart from start to walk downstairs again because it just destroys it. But Fourth Road Bridge, brilliant place to do some uh, running because it's like a perfect track track to actually run because it's there's no crap on it it's all been blown off and it's a perfect little bit of a gradient and a little bit of a drop anyway, anyway it, more about the change okay so is there been any changes i'm not seeing any more abs i am seeing an ab vein which which i am quite liking the look of that i want to see more of that maybe get one on the other side maybe if i get one there oh ah, this one uh in work boss got these special uh scales which like measure your body weight and and you hold some handles and it electrifies you and it tells how much fat you've got in. Said I have got 20% body fat and eight, so that you've got subcutaneous fat, which is this stuff, and you've got visceral fat, which is the fat around your organs and your stuff inside. No idea how this thing figures it out, but anyway, it said my visceral stuff around my organs is, is in the normal range, it's at, at eight, whatever that means. It's like zero to eight, normal, eight and more, you're too fat. Um, but I, it said my, my subcutaneous fat is at 20%. So I was like, oh man. But 20% of just now, today, I was 80, 86 and a half kilograms. So compared to what I was at the start, I'll put the mathematics out there of so far what I've actually lost. But 20% body fat, that means I've still got 70. 17 kilograms of fat on me, 17 kilograms. I'm like, I can definitely feel like two or three kilograms here, but, oh, and, and yeah, okay, definitely still got like the chunks 
Like, I think I've got like a chubby back, definitely. Um, but it's just like 17 kilograms to still lose. That would make me down to about 70... I can't do the maths just now, but it, it's a lot less than what I can even imagine being down to. So, that kind of like bummed me out. I wasn't happy about that, but uh, yeah, totally destroyed the rowing machine. And uh, so in terms of what does my body look like, this will be my review. So I kind of stand kind of straight on like that. And then, so in the future I'll have like a couple of videos of me all beside each other. And then kind of side on like that. And uh, kind of that way, maybe, maybe if I stand there. That's, that's the kind of body shape that I'm in. Just now, it's definitely still got all these, this big chunk to lose. And I think the best thing is definitely the morning plyometric stuff that I've been doing. I enjoy it, it's easy, and it makes you sweat so much. Which means you're definitely getting internal core temperature up, which must mean you're burning fat, 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 fat. So I won't get rid of that. But abs, I don't think they've got any closer to coming to the surface, but I do have a, an ab vein which I am quite liking, uh, but yeah, this weekend, no massive booze session, um, that should help. I think the boozing really destroys you for a good wee while, so fasting tomorrow and just more healthy. Healthy is all it needs to be. So that's all, that's my week two review.